Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Femi Adishina promises to punish Sahara reporters, journalists, for insulting Buhari. This Femi Adishino, eh? You won't go soon say to your day they come, or everybody they wait for you. You just say you get power, be because you didn't hear Buhari. You just they did they did do any as they they insult Buhari. Now Sahara reporters fair report Buhari. What are you talking about? Is there anybody in governance that is not being insulted? Is there anybody in governance that is not being criticized? Check yourself very well. Be very careful. Say you will punish the Sahara reporters. Punish them in what way, form or kind? Because you know, it's not be presidency now. Anyway, people, let's go to the news. Femi Adishina promises to punish Sahara reporters, journalists for insulting Buhari. The special advisor to President Muhammad Buhari on media and publicity, Femi Adishina has called out a journalist attached to Sahara reporters for using derogatory words against the president and members of his cabinet. Femi Adishina promised to deal with the reporter whose work over the past couple of months have been directed, directly targeted at the president. The name of the reporter is Bayo Oluwa she Sheifumi and all his recent works had not as something to do with Buhari. And because of this, Femi Adishino has said he promises that he will deal with this Sahara reporter. He promises to make sure that he spends some time to realize what he's doing. He promises to make sure that the words he's using against the president of the country, he regrets it. A base followed called by your Oluwa Shefumi has been using foul language against President Muhammad Buhari, his female supporters and myself, and has been insulting the presidency. We are coming for him. This is why we are talking about the social media bill, so that people can know what to say and behave themselves properly and comport themselves orderly. The president is not one to be talked about, eh? says who? It is, however, uncertain what Femi Adishin or Buhari plans to do with the journalist since he said he is coming soon. As at this point of the report, neither Sahara reporters nor Bayo has been given any official statement or response to Femi additional stress. It's still a word of truth and we are waiting for him. The reporter, however, has not said any matter, has not replied Femi Adishino and has just left everything to see what the presidency will do. Femi Adishino is the presidency himself, as is the one that speaks in the place of Buhari. He does not mind the people. All he talks about is what he feels, and he speaks his own words, saying they are Buhari's words. Well, now the matter we did, Grand did so people. Femi Adishino, you know, be be presidency in himself, only in himself, not presidency. Femi Adishino is the man, um, one of the uh, people closest to Buhari at this time and day. And, you know, people like him, Garuba Shehu, um, Femi Adishino, Garuba Shehu, uh, what's the name of the other one? Lai Mohammed. They are the one running the presidency. Even the vice president, we don't see. He's been ridiculed to the background. They are the one operating, as well as the chief of the madam herself, who keeps giving Nigerian clues and never going straight to the point. If you know something is wrong, speak up. She keep coming with parables here and there. Where are the men? Uh, they have taken over. But you yourself, what are you doing to protect Nigerians? What have you said? Are you on the side of Nigerians truly or you are there to make your own money as well? Are you one of these people or you are one of us? Because if you are one of us, we will know by their actions, we will see exactly on whose side you are. Because Mrs. Buhari, you self, you're not your own hand, self, you're not clean. Your matter, self, you had to talk. You come here giving us a speech saying that, uh, and this one do one, they want to take over presidency. They did not allow you to get into one of the rooms in uh, Aso Rock, blah, blah, blah. All because we, the matter no favor you, we did hear about her. But when the things, when the when you are enjoying, we know they hear about her. Femi Addition on is sending a truth to the Sahara reporter, telling the Sahara reporter that um, he, he, has, uh, he has insulted Buhari, he has no right to insult Buhari. Excuse me, 
who is in governance that is not being insulted? Have you seen cartoons on Trump? Have you seen words and cartoons on uh, uh, Boris Johnson? Have you seen cartoons on, on is, it, is it Australia? Is it Canada? Is it what country? Country with proper civilization. So what are you talking about? Who are you deceiving? You people better get yourself together and stop disturbing people. Stop disturbing people and behave yourself. What are we talking about here? Yeah, you want to punish somebody. For what? That's how this man, do you know what uh, Femi Adishina said? The man said that Nigerians should be happy now that Buhari has made things better. In the time of, uh, uh, what's his name, Good Luck Jonathan, that they used to throw how many bombs a day. But right now, the bombs level has reduced. Uh, from 10 is now 2, that Nigerians should be happy. See, see like, seriously? Are you, really, are you for real? Are you, like, kidding me? Are you, say, are you say, th saying what I'm thinking? Or you are joking? You see, my people, now we say they think, they say that they do well. Go and see what Chad did. The pre president himself is the one that led the raid. Chad, yeah. The president himself is the one that led the raid. Buhari sit down there, they give us statements. Buhari sit down there, they give us statements, they read paper. Mona, stop this nonsense, on and do. Mona, stop her, man. People should, like, seriously, you should really stop it. You should really stop this rubbish that you are doing. You should really stop it. What do you take Nigerians for? You keep going there, doing your own thing, doing your own your own thing, business as usual, and think that life is just like that. Because uh, Nigerians are not so privileged. You guys have the opportunity to quickly grab a uh, governance, and you are thinking that uh, it rotates and it's all about you. It's not, oh my dear, it's not. Because there is God. That's what patience, good Lord Jonathan told us, there is God. And guess what? Chad, president of Chad, don't disgrace on her. The same Boko Haram one that they use billions to fight. The more Buhari say they are getting at Boko Haram, the more we hear of the rubbish that Boko Haram is doing in the nation. Yet people say you are getting at Boko Haram. Which Boko Haram? Which Boko Haram? Who are you deceiving? Let me tell you something. The reason why Boko Haram is succeeding is because there are people, there are Nigerians, there are politicians that are supporting them. They are politicians. Have you not heard that people are saying again and again that they see a helicopter that comes to drop them medication, food, uh, ammunition, and the rest? Eh? Who is sponsoring that? Who is paying for that? Well, guess what? That very person will be exposed. That person will be exposed. That's how Chad is dealing with them seriously, dealing with Boko Haram now. Dealing with them seriously. Chef Emi Adishina is threatening in Nigeria. In fact, Nigerians, you will not call for him to be arrested now. They will not go on social media now and call for him to be arrested. But I'm not saying what Finke did was right to uh, uh, flouting the law and having a party, house party, when they said there is a lockdown for the purpose of curtailing coronavirus. And we know that house party, there is no body, no go touch body, but no go they so close together. I'm not saying what she did was right, but you all called out, went on social media that she should be arrested. She's carrying out her, uh, what's it called now, community service. And besides, Lagos state government has given her pardon from it. You know, Mona called for female additional to be, to be arrested now. He's threatening a Niger fellow Nigerian citizen, threatening to get back to him, to deal with him. For what? Say insult Buhari. Who is Buhari? By the way, the president that they voted for. The, the people don't have right. There's all called freedom of speech to criticize the government, to speak up and to say, you know, what you are doing is wrong. We are not happy. How would they know if their governance has been effective if nobody tells them? You think your style is good. You think your style is working until somebody points out your flaws. That's the simple truth. That's the way it is. So you must be ready to be criticized. That's the way you can make progress. That's the way you can make things better. Don't stay there thinking yourself, sitting in your high horse, thinking nobody has the right to talk to you. Rubbish. You don't have that power to say that you are coming for um, the bio because all these articles has been derogatory towards Buhari. Excuse me, where is Buhari? Can't him speak for himself? Have you checked your news? Have you opened your, your, your TV recently? Have you heard Trump talking in the midst of this coronavirus who has been addressing America and the world? Yet you say you are governance. There is democracy. Which democracy? where you are oppressing the people. This is dictatorship. This is not democracy. That's why we with the media, we are here to expose all your wrong and evil doing to the, to the nations of the world so they can know the oppression on which you have carried out on the people of Nigeria. 
Nigerians, I beg you not forget to thumbs up for your girl. Subscribe if you never subscribe, like and share. I beg so that this news can travel far so people can know exactly what is going on in the world. You have a voice, please use it. Don't allow anybody to intimidate you or make you feel that you don't have a voice. I want to say a big thank you for listening. I really appreciate you. God bless you. Have a good day. Bye.